Hey everybody, it's Herschel Fro from High School Top 200 and um, we're just back here with the next review of uh, Marvel Boys and Nelson College. Um, this one's this one is going to be a um, a real physical match. I think that there's probably going to be a fight or two. It's going to be one of those kind of kind of games where it gets really uh, really aggressive and passionate mixed together, and then you know someone could bump a shoulder and then they start you know throwing punches. It's going to be one of those kind of games. Now the first thing that I picked out of this game when I looked at the roster was that. Um, Isaiah was on the bench. Um, Malau Lau was on the bench, and then and and then they've got Anton and uh, Anton at eight. Anton Signos at eight. Jordan Newsom's at seven, and then uh, Fergus Hughes is at six. And that's okay. Um, I can see that because uh, because Jordan does add a lot of speed to that game. But for me personally, I think that having Isaiah at eight. Gives you a lot more running options, and then the speed of the game can be taken care of by Anton. Um, and I think they should have maybe started. Uh, I personally, I think I would have started with that, and then beat down the team and have them to tackle Isaiah for, you know, ages and ages and ages. And and like you could you could say the same thing in the second half, like oh we're gonna bring him on the second half and you can do all that stuff. I would rather beat them down in the first half. And then have the second half and just have speed all, all day with the second half. But that's the way that they played it on this. Um, Taya Brown, uh, Taya Brown, and Daniel Dixon are at are in the locks position. Preston Masters, um, I wasn't too sure why he was on the bench. I thought that he would be um, starting in this game. Um, uh, Luca Inch is in there, but Jack McDonald. Um, oh, I think he's such a good player, that Jack McDonald kid. I really like him as a player, and, and being here twice, he's going to be back again, so we're going to see him again. But I think with um, the the going with, I guess it's a pretty quick pack. Um, but I don't know how that I don't know how they would play it in terms of um, their attack from the forwards, because I feel like they're a bit light without Isaiah in there. Having Anton there is a, is a big massive factor. So if you had Anton Fergus, uh, Fergus and Isaiah, like those three are good running players, and then still Jack is there. Josh Mc, um, uh, McIntyre is there, and he's a pretty good runner as well. And Peterson. So I'm, I'm guessing that they've gone with the speed first rather than than the bulk, and then they'll take care of the rest later. Um, but uh, Mason Lund is there at nine. Um, Nico Barton, I really like Nico as well. Nico Barton is there. Um, and then they got Levi, Lewis, uh, Connor, and Daniel Johns, uh, Daniel Rogers, um, for the rest of their backline with Ben, um, Fanganuku. So the Levi and Lewis thing is the one that I'm kind of confused at. I mean, um, I I think Ben. I don't know. I think Ben can actually play center. I don't know if that's a uh, um, if they just want, if they've just, I've had those guys, you know, the Fanganuku brothers out at winger, that they just get used to it. But I just, I feel like you'll be, Ben will be a better center than anything else, or a second five, and get them into the game a lot more than than anything else, and have them, because uh, I mean, I believe in 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 the most talented players. Uh, or the ones that you want the ball in their hands a lot to be in the positions where they can get the ball a lot. I mean, I would rather have, you know, Ben get the ball, you know, 60, 70% of the time that uh, the ball goes through that back line, just to show that threat, just to show that. And, you know, you can dummy and skip him all the time and things like that if you want. But, uh, I mean, I would rather have him as a constant threat all the time. And so um, I don't know why they keep playing him on the wing. That's just my opinion anyway. But um, it's not like Levi's not good. Um, Levi Cruz uh, is a handy player, and he is smart, and him and Nico Barton are, uh, are smart together, and I feel like that can work as well. So they have something going on, a um, uh, game plan that's, that's going on as well. Um, and whatever way they've got it worked out is, is cool. I wish we could see this game. I wish they um, televised it some way. 
But um, this is one of those games that I think that, uh, just like all traditional games, I think that they should be on TV so everyone can see it because these such a, these are such good games. Um, Monu Molu, uh, Monu uh, Molly is uh, in the front row of Tino uh, with Tino uh, Vakaloa, and um, Aiden Gain is is the captain, and that's the front row. And I feel, and I think that this front row is just going to hammer it and hammer it and hammer it. Um, when they have the ball and then they have control of the game. And to me, that is going to be a problem for Nelson. And to me, that is where I feel like um, Isaiah needs to be in that game as well um, to balance out that bulk that these guys have because you still got Jaden um, Holdaway in there at number eight. Who's a big kid? Like, you, you can't just... You know, he's not a normal kid just to put a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, yeah, even Anton, like, even to me, if, uh, as much as I like Anton as well, you're going to have to have Anton and Fergus on him to make sure that he doesn't shake one off that he could easily do and then get that hand free and pass off because the threat is not the break of the line. The threat is the is the hand that pops out and then you see that hand scoop a pass out and then there's a break because the defense is concentrated on one on one attacking player. And that's where uh, Jaden comes into it, is that he's that guy that you just think, don't let Jaden get the ball. And if he gets the ball, let's swarm on him straight away. The thing about Jaden is that he can he can fall and give a, a give an offload pass. And when you have guys like um like Monu and then Sky is gonna be in there, uh Bailey O'Hay um O'Hagan is going to be there, and then Oliver, and then Ollie Lawson is the other kid that I like as well, who I think maybe should be a blindside, but um, he's another good running player as well that you don't really want um, coming off those kind of passes. And so um, I don't know. I think the I think the I would play with the bulk, um, you know, for Nelson to stop this because I think that that's where Marvel Boys is gonna is gonna do a lot of their damage. Uh, Liam Duncan is pretty good at, at first five, and I and I like him a lot as well. Um, Tristan Taylor and Clyde uh, Piwa are going to are going to be in that centers. Um, not a big center pairing together, but I think if they play with space and play at width and and make sure that they spread the field as much as possible and make sure that they can um, uh, spread the field, spread the defense, have them shift all the time. Things like that, and then you can get Keelan um, Mural in there as well. Um, Lotu Solomona is going to be on one wing, and then Bello Sullivan is going to be on the other wing. And um, Lotu is uh, Lotu, I think, is, is is a healthy, solid player to have in there. Um, I would like to get him the ball quite a bit more. Him and Clyde, I think, will be able to have a um if those two can get on the same page and work together then those two are going to be the ones that um uh are going to open up the back line on one side you know and things like that and, and they're going to be able to um get a lot of breaks on that outside edge if they can work together and pull it in um lotu and 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 ben fanganuku is going to be a pretty good matchup to watch too and see how, the, how those two get at each other um i i do think um, Marlboro needs to slow down the game, keep the game tight, and to work within their strengths. With to me, their strength comes from the forwards, and if they can keep it into there, and then even if Tristan and Clyde, when they are running their lines, they're actually angling back into the midfield, um, even after breaks, because um, just to keep it centered, just to keep the game centered, keep the game within the you know, the center of the, of the park and gives yourselves options um, to set up for attacks and then have the forwards always dominate the position going up the field uh, with little offloads and things like that. And then and then just clamp down on defense and make sure the defense wins the game. And that's on the Melbourne side. The, the Nelson side is like, I guess they're going to have to play at speed, make sure that um, uh, make sure their attacking comes from um, the 6, 7, 8, 11, 12 range. Um, and if those guys can all work together and then wait for Isaiah to come on, um, wait for Preston to come on, guys like that. Um, David and Thomas, uh, 
is it Zareb? Zareb? I've heard a lot about. I don't know much about them, but I've heard a lot about them. And um, hopefully when they get on, they can pick up the pace and, you know, speed up the game a bit more. I do have Nelson winning this, though. And um, if Nelson get too much, get too comfortable, get too much momentum early on, um, it's not going to be a good game for Marlboro boys. And then there's going to be a 20-point gap in it. So if, if, if Nelson... If Nelson blow out the game, it's going to be a 20-point gap. If it's kept tight, Marlborough has a better chance of winning it. And and slowing down the game, they've got a better chance of winning it. And so um, I'm going to pick Nelson in this. Uh, maybe a good two tries, 14 points, something like that. Um, probably around the 30 to 11 mark. Scoreline like that. Is that a bit too generous? Yeah. Let's say 30 to 14. Something like that. 30 to 14. I'll, I'll pick that one. And so, um, yeah, that's my review. Please get down and support the boys. Please go down and support everything that they do because they work hard and they train hard and they are passionate about uh, the jersey that they put on every single day. And they, they crest on their chest as well. And so support the boys. Uh, go down and support your team. That's me. Peace.